notes, are you ready, are you sure? For music trivia, three rounds in store. It's head to head, who's going to war? Are you ready to settle the score? I said, are you ready to settle the score? Hey, hey, welcome into another week of Settle the Score. I'm your host, Matt Nose, joined as always by the musical director and a man who almost forgot we were recording today, Andy Merriweather. How are you, man? Yes, yeah, that's completely true. I'm fine, thanks, Matt. Yeah, I, I was watching the football. Um, uh, Anna hadn't been watching it, so I showed her the highlights, and then your text came through. And you never will text before a show. Like, it just, it, there isn't a reason to. And you randomly yeah. text me for a reason. And I was like, I jumped up, like I had like half an hour. And I was, I'd been... T- to outside like doing a workout so i was muddy and you know the bottom half is just it's just caked in mud at the moment so uh we'll get through it not okay not too bad on my legs actually for sure but yeah um yeah i had to quickly get together and and like do something with the hair and and practice the songs (laughs) thanks great (laughs) thanks yeah straighten Uh, my teeth just around jericho perfect yeah Yeah. Uh, well you look fantastic thanks it was Uh, a yeah last minute hatch job uh, all right. So by the time you're hearing this, um, the drawing for the next fan show will have already uh, taken place. So you can go ahead and enter the, your name into the ne- the next one we do uh, in the not too distant future. So if you'd like to be part of the next fan show, you can leave a comment over at youtube.com forward slash Matt Nost, or you can like and retweet the tweet that I put out each week. If you decide to do both, it just increases your chances overall. And uh, I think that's it on that front. We got a theme show today, which is musicals Mm -hmm. and uh, movie musicals only. And two amazing guests. I'm ready to bring them in. Do we have anything else we want to discuss before we get them in here? No, I mean, I made it. We might as well play. Sure. Sure. (laughs) Yeah, this show, I don't watch many uh, musicals. So this one, uh, Andy put together. And uh, no, I didn't mean I made it like that. No, Matt. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. fine. I meant I made it today like today. i remembered the show well i'm here look this is one play. where i'm glad i'm not playing because i would get crushed absolutely crushed in I musicals never, in general but this show I would never take credit for putting the show together we we always collaborate on everything and you put yeah. way more effort in than me it, it's fine it's fine i don't know musicals in the slightest uh but i'm excited because both our two players uh were jazzed about doing it want to do musicals and uh talking a lot of shit uh, before we started recording, I can't wait. Hopefully, uh, they hold up there into the bargain and crush us today. Uh, first coming in, returning guest, uh, and uh, fan of musicals, Mark Andreco. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Not too bad. Not too bad. And was I in the first episode you taped? Very yes. first episode. Very first episode ever. That's a trivia question for you. And your <laughs> opponent, is. your opponent in that episode was Riley. Was our, Riley. Was our. Oh yeah! Next competitors, I'll... first uh, first opponent too. So you you both played Riley, and now you're against each other. Did she beat him? I do not remember. Why she's shaking her head? No. Uh, I remember it being a close game. So that that I do know. So it wasn't like a you know, Riley ran away with it. Um, by and large, usually these are pretty close. So looking forward to today. But are you ready to uh, bring in your competitor, sir? Absolutely, bring them in. All right. Returning guest, vigorously shaking her head no about the last one, but asked us if we're doing musicals. She'd love to do it. The one and only Sasha Pearl Raver. I'm so excited. Uh, I will say I fully was prepared for Mark Riley to just sweep me down, make me beg for mercy. It was a close game. He did rise victorious, as you would expect. But Mark, I am so excited to be doing this just because like, we're going to jam out to musicals that Andy's going to play. Gonna be a blast. Yeah. I can't gonna wait. Be a blast. The, the, the best, the best thing for me that's happened during COVID by doing all these zooms is the competitions are more about having fun than about sure. winning because I don't see people. So it's like, I'm so happy to see three faces of people I adore that it's like, I'll, I'll do whatever you want for the next hour. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good to know for future. And I'll, get, I'll put my only fans address in later. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> You heard uh, about the cat's butthole cut. Wait for the market. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I was actually Judy Dench's stand in on that movie. I Were that. you really? Yeah, that was wow. my wedding ring that you saw. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't the uh, cats have eight boobs? 
I, there are so many questions. Why were they rat yeah. size in some and cat size yeah. in others? Yeah. Why is Skibble Just Shank why? Not? Just why, I think. Is Apparently, the there is a cut where they have buttholes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, there is. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that they we, took it out. It needs to be released. <laughs> Give us the butthole cut. If you take away nothing from this episode, give us I the want to be the cut. CG artist who does cat. What's your specialty? Cat rectums. <laughs> the removal of. The removal of. <laughs> I, like, I like that you took it to the medical rectum. You know, as if it's on his business card. Well, and they also said it spent a bunch of money removing Jason Derulo's phallus. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I I've seen that leaked picture. Put really? it in the chat. Put it in the chat, Andrew. Yeah. You know, I haven't. Put it in the chat. Exactly. It's a private chat. You can throw it in. You know those you tripods want. from War of the Worlds? <laughs> <laughs> really? It's got all those tentacles coming off? That's a little scary. <laughs> yeah. Just just tentacles for days. Oh, beautiful. If you take away nothing from this show, tentacles for days should be it. Hashtag tentacles for days. Start that trending. <laughs> Please. Please do. I want that association with the show. That's good stuff. <clears throat> um. I'm All right, uh, are the two of you ready to begin today's show? Also excited. Yep. All right, let's let's start round one. All right, so this is round one. Sasha, you will have choice of one through five. Uh, once you make your selection, I will give a clue, and Andy will begin playing. When either of you thinks you know it, <coughs> buzz in with your name, and I will call on you. And you're <coughs> guessing the movie itself, not the song. It's worth ten points. And then there's a bonus question, but we'll get to the rules of the bonus question when we come to it. So, Miss Pearl Raver, where would you like to begin? Utah, give me two. Give you two it is. Please. Your opening clue is back to the future. Back to the future. The musical. Okay. Did I just hear an alarm stop ringing? Did I see sirens go flying past? I don't know. No, oh, I don't know what tomorrow's bringing. I got a singular impression. Things are moving too fast. I'm gliding smooth as a figure skater. I'm riding hot as a rocket blast. Oh, I expected it ten years later. I got a singular impression. Things are moving too fast. Oh, I thought that would be a gimme. Second clue is marriage story. Marriage story. Thanks for bopping as well. Sasha. Sasha. The last five years. That is correct for ten points. Oh, I would never. All right. Nice job, Sasha. Early <clears throat> lead, 10 to nothing. So bonus question time, Sasha. You can choose to go it alone, but if you get it wrong, you will lose the five points. Otherwise, you can open it up to both you and Mark. No one will lose any points, but obviously he can cut into your 10 to nothing lead. So my question to you is, do you want to be a dick or not? Oh, no, I hate being a dick. Open it up. Open Quick it up. Though, yeah. <laughs> is this bonus question related to the same musical? Yes. Okay, well, you're gonna you're safe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's that I am. open to both of you. Some of these are easy and some of these are hard. This one was probably uh, the hardest one. So it's the best that it's uh, open to both of you. Here's your bonus question. The last five years was shot entirely in New York, Brooklyn, and Staten Island over how many days? It was less than a month. And I'll give it to you if you're within three. Sasha. Sasha. 26. Mark, do you want to make a guess? Uh, do I lose anything if I guess? Nope. Wrong? Okay. Um, 16. 16. You were both wrong. It was 21 Ooh, days. 21 oh. days, exactly. Uh, I was really hoping that you're going to ask who the lead was, and I was going to have to say, was it Jeremy Jordan? Yeah. Yeah, Jeremy Jordan. Uh, he just he, he just finished a tiny run of Bonnie and Clyde over here, and everyone was right. Oh, wow. cool. Have you seen the Back to the Future musical yet, Andy? I have. How is it? People love it. People, people. <laughs> okay. Love it. People. <laughs> hmm. people. Doesn't sound like certain people are in that percentage. I have a higher bar. And, and is it, <laughs> is it, Cluedo is on stage right now in London, right? The, a stage production of Cluedo. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I what? Don't, that. don't even know what that is. Cluedo. You know the movie Clue. Oh. Sure. Cl 
Yeah, the Clue was based on a board game over here. I don't know if you guys have it called yeah. Cluedo. Yeah, yours no, is called Cluedo. Oh. Ours is called Clue. Oh, okay. So they just changed it. All right. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I'm learning all kinds of things. Yeah. Information bombs. Um. All right. Hashtag tentacles, baby. Sasha, you still have choice. Uh, one, three, four, or five. Where would you like to go next? Five, please. Five. It is. Your clue is. He was a punk. She did. She did ballet. What more can I say? I'm assuming you wanted the Avril Lavigne. Sure. He was a punk. She did ballet. What more can I say? I will say I round one is. Really is want to guess. No, no, I, I, have a question. I have a couple ideas of what this could be, but I'm not sure what the definition of musical encompasses. Cool. Uh, that would be Andy's, cool. you know, domain. Can yes. I guess already? No. Damn it. All right. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. You can go in pretty quick. All right. Here we go. So may we start, so may we start, it's time to start, it's time to start, I hope that it goes the way it's supposed to go, there's fear in them all, but they can't let it show. Second clue. Oh, I was going to say round one is is tough, but it gave me like I got to put all these songs in, settle the score that I would never ever get the chance to put in. So, um, so there we go. It is tough, but it, we climb the ladder and then it's all a nice little slide down. Round two and three. Your second clue is David Lynch's La La Land. David Lynch's La La Land. First one was, he was a punk. She did that ballet. What more can I say? I'll give you one more clue. Success breeds resentment. Either you two have a guess. I would have said La La Land, but <laughs> what? What, Sasha? What was your um, thought before we played? Before you actually played it, I was going to say Step Up, but <laughs> this is not Step Up. Does that count as a musical? Like, well, I mean, I've never no, seen it. Was, and I was going to say, um, Oh, Save the Last Dance or something. The Julia Styles, yeah, yeah, Save yeah, the yeah, last yeah, dance. yeah. Okay, or cool. I was going to so say you, you when, you first, when you started with punk and ballet, I was going to say Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Because in that movie, Sarah Jessica Parker is a ballet student who goes on an MTV okay. dance show. Right, right, right. Okay. But, so you're on the you're on the similar lines, but not on the right line, I guess. What is it? Yeah. Neither of you two wants to make an official guess. I'll give you one last one: a driver of comedy. A driver of oh. comedy. Mark. I'll lose points though if I get it wrong, right? No, you won't lose any points. Uh, but that song that you played is from the thing, right? Yeah. The yep. songs are from the thing we're trying to guess. Correct. Oh, then I'm completely wrong. So I'm out. Oh. Okay. That is from the new Adam Driver film, Annette. Oh. Oh. No. Nope. I blocked that, that from my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched Driver from my mind. I just haven't seen it yet. <laughs> it's good luck. Him and Marianne Cotillard in one of the most pretentious things I've seen since my senior year of college. Wow. Didn't you, do you? You thought La La Land was heavily I pretentious. Hate La La Land. Yeah. Would you say that the it's like a pretentious <laughs> David Lynch movie <laughs> and that compared to La La Land? Hence the clue. Obviously. Oh yeah, it's weird. As, it's weird as hell. Yeah. It's weird as hell. I but, think we were there. All right. Uh, Bonus question is open to both of you, so you can both guess. Here is your bonus question. Uh, Marion Cotillard replaced two other actresses who had to drop out in the lead role before her. One starred in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and the other starred in Blue Valentine. 
name Michelle, either. Mark, 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 Mark. Mark. Michelle Williams? That is correct for five points. Was the other one uh, Rooney Mara or was it uh, was yeah. it um, Rooney, Rooney Mara? Mara yeah. uh, no, it was Rooney Mara. Rooney Mara, yeah. Uh, all right, Sasha, you got the last musical question correct, which means you still have control of the board. We have one, three, and four. Three, please. Three, it is. Your oh, clue. God, Andy's laughing. Is it that hard? This is some obscure, like, Tibetan yeah. musical throat singing. <laughs> yeah, throat singing. Sure. We're still, we're still climbing the ladder with difficulty. Oh, oh my. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. All right. Your clue is... Famous for all the wrong reasons. Famous for all the wrong reasons. Hey, turn the light on. Cause I've got no one to show me the way. Please, I will follow. You're my last hope, I'll do anything you say I tried it my way Epic fail, save me from myself So bye, by my hands now Shut my mouth down, I will listen, listen well. Next clue is my song. end of tour. End of tour. Famous for all the wrong reasons and end of tour. I got nothing. This is insane. I'll give you one last one. Round two and three are easy. <laughs> oh, the I'm not mad. This is great. It's just like, damn. Last clue is the manager is the law. The manager is the law. So teach me. Show me all you've got. Either of you two have a guess? Mm -hmm. All right. That is from Vox Lux. Vox it's Lux. Hard. <laughs> now yes, you're just being hard. dicks. That was, a that was a tough one. Vox Lux. Okay. Uh, all right. Your bonus question open to both great of you. Great song. That's a great song. See you, Sure. It's nice. beautiful. I thought it was once. That's what it sounded like to me. But I'm like, it, that can't be once. That's, that's too obvious. Um. All right, your bonus question open to both of you is this. Natalie Portman and Jude Law, who are the stars in the movie, have starred together in... Mark. Okay. Shit. Closer. Damn right. it. Uh, you're going to have to give me more than that. Oh, in, oh so there's... Oh, what else did they well, star in together? I didn't finish the question, so you don't even know what I'm asking <laughs> for specifically, but you're on the right track. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. They've starred together in four movies. Name three of them. Sasha? God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, you have right. two. <laughs> yeah. Vox Lux. Uh-huh. Uh, closer. Gotcha. <laughs> and I'm going to throw out a rando here and say... Girl with the Pearl Earring? <laughs> uh... No, uh, Cold Mountain. Oh, no. oh, yeah. And then one I'd never heard of, My Blueberry Nights. Don't know that. Nobody's one, heard sure. of that movie. That's yeah. a French That's film a based movie. on a graphic novel. Uh, okay. Not real. <laughs> not, not real. All right. Well, Sasha, you so, still have control. So am I at negative one. five now? No, you got five no. points. You didn't because you didn't. Okay. No one was a dick. You know, and you don't lose any points. Oh, okay. Um, so, Sasha, it's number one or number four? Number one, please. 
Number one, it is. Your clue is twice. Twice. She's standing in the corner like an angel in disguise. And as I look a little closer, she's got dangerous eyes. She tells me she's a model of international reputation. She's lightning in a bottle. But there's a stipulation. She's so indecipherable. She holds the key to the missing code. Just the thought of her touch, my mind explodes. So desirable. Sasha? Is it Tick Tick Boom? No, that is incorrect. That is incorrect. Time never will unfold. Oh, oh, oh. The riddle of the model. It's not, uh, and I, do I lose points if I get nope. this wrong? Go ahead and guess. And then after uh, you guess, I'll give a second clue and you both Mark, can guess again. Mark, is it Sing Street? That is correct for 10 points. Oh, good job, Mark! Oof. All right, you take the lead by five points with that correct answer. Mark, uh, bonus question. Do you want to be a dick or not? No, absolutely not. All right. <laughs> uh, then it's open to both of you. Here's your bonus question. Sing Street debuted at what Park City Film Festival. Mark. Mark. Sundance. That is correct for five points. And there's a Broadway, there's a Broadway musical of that too. Of Sing Street? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um, all right. So we only have one left in this opening round. Thank the gods. <laughs> we'll get through this. Battle of attrition. We'll win out ultimately. Your final clue of the opening round is the gravest. Showman, the gravest showman. What was I thinking? This is Nay Disney. I'm way off script. I'm losing the plot. Things don't work out that way. I'm not McConaughey. Turn on the charm and call in the shots. If this was the movie, maybe she would be willing to share my world. Starting Mark. to realize. Mark. In the Heights? Incorrect. Hmm. Incorrect. Sometimes I realize, I'm starting to realize sometimes the nice guys don't always get the girl. Cause no one ever tells you when you're young. Love's not like the books, the films, or the songs. We've been living in a life for far too long. And I'm tired of pretending. There's no such thing as a Hollywood ending. Sasha, you want to make a guess, or I can give a second clue, and you both can guess again. Second clue. Okay. Your second clue is ghoul tied log. Ghoul tied log. Uh, can you say ghoul tied log? Ghoul tied log. So G-H-O-U-L, ghoul tied log. Like a s- spooky Christmas thing. musical number in Krampus that I'm not thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> not that I recall, but uh, you never know. I haven't seen the director's cut. <laughs> I can give you a third clue. Uh, your third clue is Zombieland. Zombieland. Oh, Mark. Mark. Anna versus the apocalypse. That ah, close enough. I'd give you that. Yeah. It's Anna and the apocalypse, but um, all right. Bonus question. The final one of the opening round. Do you have a 30 to 10 lead right now? Mark, do you want to be a dick or not? N- never. <laughs> it's not with Sasha. I was playing hey. you, Matt, whole different story. Well, that's to be expected. I would, you know, I would hope you'd cut <laughs> me out of the equation. That's a smart play. Um, all right. Your bonus question is this. And it's open to both of you. Anna and the Apocalypse has been described as what Edgar Wright movie meets what Damien Chazelle movie? Mark? Shaun of the Dead meets La La Land. That is correct for five points. Very impressive, dude. Like I said, I'm single. We can all breathe. (laughs) Round one is over. (laughs) 
And you got most of it. I think there's only what yeah, one that wasn't gotten. So uh, I've Box never Lux. even heard of the last five years. So I'm gonna have to look that up. Okay. It's Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick and Jeremy Jordan. It's not great. But... It's a Jason Robert Brown show. Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't find anybody else in the cast that I knew on that one. So it's the two of them, basically. It's literally, yeah. Uh, yeah, one, right. one tells a story from the end of the relationship. One tells a story from the start. And they kind of me in the middle. That's interesting. It doesn't matter. Um, all right, well, ends round one. Mark has 35. Sasha has 10. It's still anybody's ball game. Let's start round two. All right, so this is the five-second round. Sasha, because you're in second place, you'll have first choice in this one. Um, once you <laughs> make your selection, I give a clue. Andy plays five seconds of the song. Could be the opening five seconds. It could be the last five seconds. It's his choice. If you can guess the movie in that five seconds, it's worth 10 points. Otherwise, we have to go to the second five seconds of music, and it's only worth five points. You both can answer. And uh, you only have one guess per question, although that's kind of lax. But wait until I can tell you. Uh, wait until I tell you. You can guess a second time before you start rifling in anything. So, Sasha, uh, where would you like to begin? One through five. One. One. It is. Your clue is that thing you do. That thing you do. You're welcome, <laughs> Sasha. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a night. Late December back in 63. Sasha. Sasha. Jersey Boys. That is correct for 10 points. Yay! Climbing back into us. 35 to 20. Sasha, two through four. Where do you want to go next? Two. Two it is. Your clue is day in the life. Day in the life. Oh, the Deadwood stage is rolling over the plains with the curtains flapping and the driver slapping the rain. Sasha. Sasha. Oklahoma? Incorrect. Oh, Incorrect. Shit. So, Mark, do you want to hear that again? Yes, because I think I know what it is, but I need just a little bit more. Okay, you can hear that five seconds again. Oh, the Deadwood stage is rolling over the plains with the curtains flapping and the driver slapping the rain. Mark. Mark. Calamity Jane? That is correct for 10 points. Beautiful sky. Nice job. That was, right that was one of my away, favorite songs away, ever, Secret away. Love in it, right? That's got Secret Love in it. Right, Doris Day. No idea. Uh, all right, Mark, you have wrestled control from Sasha. We have three through five. Where would you like to go next? So she did one and two. I'm gonna Correct. do sorry, I'm apologizing for this joke already. I'm gonna do it from behind and go with number five. All right, nice, good for you. That's Cat how last, 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 last five years. That's the last five years. Uh, yep. All right, here we go. Uh, all right, your clue for number five is. Why do you write like you're running out of time? Showers in the kitchen, there might be some soap. Dishes in the sink, brush your teeth if you can cope. Why do you write like you're running out of time? Sasha, I'll go tick Sasha. tick boom again. <laughs> I'm going tick tick boom for all of them. <laughs> yeah, that is correct for 10 points. <laughs> Yeah, it was either rent or oh, something. Exactly not. <laughs> it won't show up again. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, it's good. Uh, all right, not a fan, Mark. Not in the slightest. Oh, okay. I think Garfield's performance is great. I think that movie made me want to cut my throat. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. So, Sasha, you got the points on that. We have number three and four left. Where are we going? We're doing it from behind. Number four. <laughs> oh, keeping it from behind. Beautiful. Number four, it is your clue is be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for. When you read your pie and you look below what the world you've left and the things you know, little more than a glance. Uh, 
Do you guys want to hear that again? Yes, please. Seems like a yes. Yeah, please. When you're way up high and you look below at the world you've left and the things you know, little more than a glance. Be careful what you wish for. Do you want to hear the next five seconds? It drops the point value down to five points, and it's a 15-point game with Mark in the lead right now. Drop it down. Yeah, Mark's drop, it down. Drop, drop it down, they say. From behind, dropping it down. Let's go. Next five, is it? Yep. Is this the same song? Correct. Yeah. Okay. When suddenly there's a big, tall, terrible giant at the door. Mark. Mark. Into the woods? That is correct for five points. Nice job, Mr. Andreco. <sighs> this is exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. We have one left in the second round. Here is your final clue. It feels good to splurge. It feels good to splurge. Hey, he's working out. Here we go. We could have been anything that we wanted to be. No, it's not too late to change. Oh, I have an idea, but I need another clue. Uh, you, don't, you don't do other clues. It's just the song, right? We, uh, eventually, if you both guess and get it wrong, I'll give you a second clue. And there's no points taken away for guessing wrong? Uh, no, it just shuts you out. If she wants to drop it down to five points and hear the second five seconds, you can't guess until she guesses. I'm just going to risk it. Bugsy okay. Malone? That is correct for 10 points. Good nice. job, Mark. Nice good, one. Good. Wow, that ends round two. Mark has 60 points. Sasha has 30. 30, but anybody can still win this, Sasha. Anything you're not out happen. of the game. Uh, it has happened before on this show. So here we go. Let's jump into round three. All right, round three. This is the betting round. So, Mark, you are in the lead, which means you will make selection of one through five. I will give a clue. And before Andy begins playing, we got to do the bidding. So, Mark, you'll open the bidding with the number of notes you think you can guess this movie's song in. You're still guessing the movie itself. Three notes is the minimum. The max is how many ever notes you'd like it to be. Uh, at three notes and above, it's worth 10 points. Two notes, 15. One note, 20. And if you want to guess based solely on the context clue, it's worth 25 points. You guys bid back and forth until one of you tells the other to settle the score. And finally, you have a lifeline that you can use at any point to ask for a second clue, but you only have one of those, so be wise as to when you use it. Uh, so, Mark, one through five, where would you like to begin? One this more final question round? for the stupid guy in the Chiefs no problem. here. Uh, do you lose the amount of points you were wagering if you get it wrong? Uh, you don't lose them. Your opponent gains them. So you maintain. Right now, it's 60-30. Oh, okay. If if the first one's worth 20 points, then Sasha would suddenly have 50 points, and she's cut into your lead. Okay. But Let's you can't do lose number it. Number three. All right. Number three, it is. Your clue is you're on mute. You're on mute. So, Mark, how many notes would you like to open the bidding with? Three is the minimum. The max is how many ever you'd like it to be. 15. 15. Sasha, over to you. 14 or fewer, or tell him to settle the score. Wait, if I say settle the score, can I jump in before he has 15? Nope. No. Once you tell the other one to settle the score, you are out of the equation. 10. 10 notes. Mark? Seven. Seven. Sasha, back to you. Settle the score. All right. Seven notes. You do have your lifeline, Mark. Your clue again is you're on mute. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> the Little Mermaid. That is just, no. That is correct. <laughs> 10 points. Brown! There's nothing we could do about that. You told him to settle the score. Goddamn. Uh. Uh, that that sucks, man. I do like the effect you had on the synth there. That's good stuff. Um, 
All right, Mark, you got I the told point. you it's a sliding. It gets easier. Yeah, it gets easier. Yeah, it it, it went on. from last five years to under the sea. Fucking box yeah. locks. <laughs> yeah. We had caviar in the first round, and now we're at fish sticks. Or fish fingers. Uh, for the British but family. you know what tastes better? Fish sticks, to be perfectly yeah. honest. I don't Hell even like yeah. Caviar is not good to me. Uh, all right, Mark, you got the points on that. It's 70 to 30, and you also have control. Number three is off the board. Where are we going next? Uh, number five. Number five, from behind once again, your clue is nothing but treble. Nothing but treble. Treble or trouble? Treble. T-R-E-B-L-E, treble. See, I'm all about the bass, so I don't... Well, you know? Ugh. Stop me, please. Um, How many notes? F- Fifteen. Fifteen again. Sasha? Twelve. Down to Twelve. Nine. Nine. Seven. Seven again. Six. Five. Settle the score. Ooh, and five right. notes. <laughs> uh, all right, once again, you do have your lifeline if you want a second clue. Your first clue was nothing but treble. And here you go. Can you play it again? Mm-hmm. Cats? That is incorrect. It's the sound of music, right? It is mm-hmm. the sound of music, and Mark gets the point. Well, I don't think you'll be so Nazi. <laughs> <Sorry>? <laughs> That's just a hard and fast rule. I'll make a notation next time you're on. No Nazi films. Wait, oh, oh that was The Hills Are Alive with the sound of music. I thought it was memory. Yeah, it's actually the, the overture. It's like... Well, the points go to Mark. It's 80 to 30 right now. Technically, Sasha, you can still win this game. Technically. I like that it's like how, many, how many more questions do we have left? There's three questions. You got to bid down to one or zero notes a couple times to climb back into this. I'm just All here right. for the fun. I don't need, I don't need to win. Go. I want to hang That's out with Mark attitude. and Matt and Andy and listen to pretty music. I don't need to win. I don't care. You're already a winner in our book. Any time spent with you is a win. Yeah. Same, dude. I will co-sign. Um, Seriously, for people watching, Sasha is one of the coolest people you'll ever meet. Oh, you stop. And I hate everybody. So. <laughs> Mark, I would hug you, but then I just give you germs. <clears throat> I, as I said to you many times in the, the, the Screen Junkies days, do you have a gay brother that I can date? <laughs> <laughs> I will make one just for you. Just Excellent. for you. Beautiful. Uh... All right, uh, Mark, you have control. We have numbers one, two, and four. Where would you like to go next? I just have to, uh, this, this, my phone just pinged. Uh-huh. The Supreme Court denied Trump's request to block the documents for January 6th. And yet uh, Gorsuch won't wear a mask. So uh, that's know. fine. Sneeze all over him. Anyway, no politics. Let's go to number, we did th- three and five. Let's do one. All right, number one it is. Uh, your clue is this sucks, or does it? How many notes would you like to open the bidding with, Mr. Andreco? 17. 17? This sucks, or does it? Or does it? Eight. Eight. Six. Six. Five. Five Settle notes. Settle that score, lady. Settle the score on five notes. Don't forget, you do have your lifeline if you want a second clue. Your first one is, this sucks, or does it? It's definitely cats. <laughs> it's definitely cats. <laughs> oh, is that four? Did I do four? Uh, there you go, it's five. Yeah, the bass I would notes like don't a count. lifeline, please. 
All right. Andy, give her her lifeline. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. <laughs> um. Okay. I'll have the check, please. I'll have the check, please. And since we've done it for other clues, check is spelled C Z E C H. Yes, that's true. Mark, you settle the score. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the handoff. I've never seen this in the final That's a first. Round. That is a first. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I honestly don't have a clue. Let's go back to 10 notes. 10 notes. Play 10 notes. Andy. <laughs> back up to 10. Sasha breaking all the rules. You know what? Uh, if Mark's fine with it, uh, I don't give a shit. Let's go. Let's see what it is. And Mark's going to banner answering it. It's good. Go. Let's go. You know what? It's open to both of you. Okay. Why don't we just do that? Andy, play it until one of them gets it. Sure. Oh, right. God. Nice. Give you another clue, too. Busk the night away. That's one. That is once. Good, good job, Sasha. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want points. I don't want points for it. No points. I, I, thought, it. I thought once took play. It was Irish. Yeah, she's Czech. The girl's Czech. Oh, okay. I'll have the check, please. And this sucks, or does it? Is the Hoover that's broken joke. Um, it was clever. <laughs> it was uh, too clever, nothing like announcing how clever it was, making it extra clever. Yep. Uh, all right. Well, Sasha, whether or not you like it, you got the points for that. No. But you got them. I, I'm oh. the one that keeps the tally on this. So <laughs> I'm still losing. It's fine. Okay. Wait. What do we have left? Two? You two have and two four and four left. left. Two, please. Sasha, you have choice. Two? Two it is. Two. Your clue is not quite perfect. Not quite perfect. 25 so notes. notes. 25 from Sasha. 24. 24. <laughs> 21. 18. Four. Down go, to right, oh my God. go right ahead. And you don't got a lifeline left either. <laughs> so go right ahead. Yeah, your lifeline is gone. Uh, jumps right to four. Good <laughs> for you. <laughs> Your clue, clue. Oh, Your clue okay. is not quite Wait, perfect. Not quite perfect. Not quite perfect. Okay. That is cats. <laughs> it is cats. Oh, nice job, Sasha. Take and I'm to... perfectly fine that you got that one. <laughs> Hell yeah. Woo! Not quite perfect. <laughs> except it is. The movie's a masterpiece. Oh, it's like you willed that into existence. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> when she gets that in post, you need to cut in a close-up of the cat butt. <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Cat Please butts, do. tentacles, there's going to be all kinds of good Photoshop oh God, from this yes. one. <laughs> Uh, all right. So we have one left, Sasha. You'll opening. Uh, you'll open the bidding rather on this final uh, song. Your Six. clue oh. is <laughs> is uh, requel. requel, requel, requel. Six. Six notes for Sasha. Mark. Five. Five notes. That was score, dude. I'm on sorry. Settle the score. Okay, I want my my lifeline first. You want your lifeline first. All right, Andy, give him his lifeline first. Oh no, I'm sorry. The lifeline's not a question, not not a phrase. It's just more of the song. I, no, no, no. It's, it's a, a second. It's a second clue. It's a second clue more of the song. Or yes. Oh, then I'll just do the do the song first. Don't use my lifeline yet. Okay. How many notes was it? Sorry. It was five notes. Correct. Five. 
What was the clue again? Requel. Okay. Can I get that again? I, I don't broke up just a little. Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it West Side Story? It yeah. is West Side Story. For 10 points. Didn't even need his lifeline. Beautiful. Whew. Well, congratulations, Mr. Andreco. You are today's winner. Good Thank job. You. Thank you. I, uh, I did not expect that. <laughs> after that first round, you guys dialed in, started answering everything lickety split. It was impressive. Uh, I don't know that I would have gotten more than maybe uh, Little Mermaid in the show. So <laughs> you would have kicked my ass. <laughs> yes, but if we were doing sports movies, you would have gotten them all. Quite possibly, yes. I don't know how you guys would fare in sports. We all have our, you know, uh, sweet spots, so to speak. But Sasha, you you closed the gap. You made it an honest game. Cats and all and you got cats. cats. All so cats. there's that. Always. It is Wait, I want to know. I would like Mark Andreco to give a review of the Ansel Elgort West Side Story. Well, I, there's two reviews. There's three reviews, actually. First is, why remake something that won Best Picture? That's the height of arrogance. Remake movies that were almost good. Second of all, um, it's beautifully shot, but it feels like a museum piece to me. And Ansel Elgort, in addition to being the least interesting actor since the discovery of mayonnaise, and also the fact that he grooms young girls on the internet, is just... The, the review, I think the New York Times review for it was, is it possible for a near, for a great movie to have one awful performance? And then it went into him. Wow. Oh, he's that bad? He, he's horrible. He is. He is the suggestion of a human being. There is. There, there, <laughs> there, there is. I, th I think he's about as good to West Side Story as the original Tony was to West Side Story. Well, that's also the problem. That's not that's not a great role. Uh, you need someone really, really charismatic. Yeah, the, the original guy was bland as well. Yeah. Oh, and, and Natalie Wood wasn't great. Well, yeah, and couldn't sing. Uh, but um, I mean, if you if you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen it, and you have friends that don't like to watch old films, I would recommend watching it with them because it is still a pretty fantastic musical, even with its creaky some of its creaky race stuff. But I just I I don't understand why Spielberg made this movie. I just I just don't. I don't know who it was for. And mm -hmm. apparently, it's the rest of the world agrees with me since it's lost like My, $150 yeah. million. Dollars. My 16-year-old female family. cousin, I, I told my cousin Elizabeth, who watches this show, she'll be watching uh, this. Um, 16 years old female would have never sat down and watched West Side Story from the 60s. Mm -hmm. her, one of her favorite films, the new one. So she should, you know, she should watch the original now. I think I think no, she I agree. I agree. But I, I mean, that's the point, I guess. It's not made for people that have loved and enjoyed the original for you know, 40 years or whatever. Sure. I, I absolutely agree. I, I love that it can be from discovered from people. My issue was the way it, I don't, it was never advertised. I, I never saw any advertising. It was just sort of thrown out there on the, the auspices of Spielberg's name and this classical musical. So I didn't know who the studio was making it for because I never, I never saw any targeted advertising. I just saw clips online of comparing the old musical. So once again, I think the marketing of it was, they, they, they lean too heavy into the Spielberg of it all. And Spielberg's track record mm -hmm. lately isn't every movie's going to open at $100 million. I mean, he's had a rough. Yeah, he's had a few that are just like that. It's BFG, The Post. Uh, Ready Player One, Bridge of Spies. Yeah. They're, it, all his great. movies are beautiful, but they were all like just abandoned mansions. They were just like, oh, this looks nice, but there's nothing here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Well, there you go, Sasha. There's the three-part review. Gracias. It is beautiful. It is beautiful to look at the movie. I love that. Yeah, I've heard glowing praise for it, but I don't. Also, the, ori the original has so many like issues with like tan skin and stuff like that. This one sorts of, you know, it just feels like a a little tidy up. I don't know. All not, right, not my not my place to say. Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting the way as as we get progress because I just watched Soap Dish the other night, and it's hilarious. But the, the Sally Fields? 
Sally Field. Yeah, uh, it's a good movie. Flying, but there's a whole transgender thing in it. Oh, yeah. The a huge nurse line at the end. Uh huh. And Kathy Moriarty plays it really well, but it's just he, seeing it. It's like seeing like Amos and Andy in a movie today. It's so it's so dated already that it's like, oh, that's that makes me a little uncomfortable. But um, yeah, it, it, I mean, it's good progress. So. Sure. Well, there you go. Um, well, an excellent show. You guys know your musicals. That's for damn sure. Congratulations to you both. Uh, may I may I pitch a rematch of musicals, but it's musicals that have either movies Disney. that were made into Broadway musicals uh-huh. or Broadway music or, or actual stage musicals that became movies to like limit the. Okay. Well, which well, I have zero problem if you both are in on it. Yeah, we'd love to have you back. Which which format would you prefer? I would movies into pick, Broadway or Broadway into movies. I would imagine there's more movies into Broadway, are there not? I would probably pick Broadway into movies. Me too. Just because I don't know the songs of Big and Interview with a Vampire and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Back to the future. All right. Uh, Broadway into movies. If you guys are both in, sure, we'll lock in a date and we'll f- have you guys back on. Awesome. That'd be fun. Awesome. Hmm. Um, My shortlist for this was humongous, by the way, for this show. Um, those oh, really? first five, we didn't notice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I literally was like, I'm never, I said to Anna, I'm never ever going to be able to put Vox Lux in Settle the Score ever, or like Annette probably never getting in a Settle the Score episode. So this was just like, you know, a chance for me to like listen to the songs and learn them. And, um, you know, and we came in as friends, and you guys hated me by the end of round one. It was perfect, everything was perfect. No, <laughs> no, 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 I didn't hate you at all. It was reason, just things that I had. One of the reasons I love the no show reference. is just to listen to you play. Like that's what makes you uh, so so fun. Yeah, I hate you, Andy. Just so you know, yeah, that hasn't it. changed. You. There you go. That was that was that was not British enough for me. I was like, oh, yeah, not unending <laughs> like, positivity, no, dude. I, I like will throw your tea in the harbor every fucking day. Appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> um. All right. Well, before we get out of here, uh, do you guys have anything you want to plug or promote? I'll put your. Twitter handles in the descriptions of the show, but uh, Sasha, anything you want to let the people know about? There was the Hallmark movie. Was um, it came out? It came out on VH1 at oh Christmas, yeah. which was awesome, and it just got nominated for some NAACP awards. Oh wow! Remind me what the, what that was again, because I looked for it at the time that it was nowhere near the UK. It's, in called, terms of it's a movie called Let's Get Married, which came out on yes. VH1 uh, at Christmas, and I think it's cool, now on Amazon and iTunes and all that stuff. Um, everything else I'm working on, I can't talk about. <laughs> Okay. It wasn't but even on my just hopefully uh in the next couple of months I'll be able to talk about something that hopefully would be out at like Halloween. So Okay. Maybe. Well, we'll yeah, see. the last one uh all I saw was positivity and people enjoyed it and thought it was a boatload of fun. So I'd imagine yeah, whatever yeah. you have coming out potentially in the fall be more of the same. Let's hope. Let's hope. And then everything Fingers else is just up in the air. Who knows? I've got like I just got uh, but I can't talk about it. Mark, you talk about you. Uh, what can I talk about? Um, I've yeah, got he's got a bunch of, of stuff he can't talk about either. I've got a bunch fun. of stuff that I would hope to be able to talk about now, but uh, maybe for the next one. Um, All right. Uh, what else so, can I pitch? It's a good sign, though, that you both have irons in the fire, and it's like, you know what? Uh, we'll pull them out when they're ready, but there's no point in doing it early. <laughs> well, I think I, I think I speak. I can speak for Sasha on this. Is we live in a business where so many people announce things that are just utter complete fiction and bullshit. Yes. Mm-hmm. That I overcompensate. I don't like to announce things until like it's premiering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, because yeah. I've had so many. I mean, everybody in this business has, but I've had so many near misses. I've had movies greenlit that got ungreenlit within 12 hours. So it's you know I. I it, there's it's just safer it makes you look less of like a chicken little if you're just like it can be douchey but we're not we know each other so it's all everybody you know it's just like we, there's just stuff we're not allowed to talk about yeah uh, would that the government had secrets as ironclad as the entertainment industry <laughs> but um well any person that's that boastful i never believe them oh i've got this thing and this thing and this thing it's like you're full of shit uh it's the people that are just like i got some stuff going she's like they definitely have some things going because they're quiet about it that's my that's since I moved here, that's the way I've always felt. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna watch your movie tonight, Sasha. Oh, thanks, dude. You don't have could to, you, but oh, yeah, could, you speak to the, could you speak to the people at VH1 and tell them that there's a guy in the UK that would like to watch it 
see if we yes. can get it over here. Yes, I will. Has it got a soundtrack? Yeah. I'll add a song to the Settle the Score playlist. I have to say, the soundtrack was pretty banging. They got like Olivia Rodrigo on it. There was Doja Cat on oh, wow. it. Like the soundtrack was crazy good. Sounds like um, your, most of your budget went to soundtrack for Christ's sakes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. The, the, well, because it's VH1. They have it's Viacom. They have oh, that's MTV. true. Yeah, cool. they've already so they, paid the they rights. They were like, you can write anything. I will say the final song. I wanted a Demi Lovato song, and it ended up being <clears> a <throat> uh, what's her name? Oh God, I'm blanking Kid on Rock? her name. No, what's her name? She's really pretty. Uh, I uh, would have no. said. Oh, here, Andy, here, settle the score. I would have stayed at home because I was doing better alone. But when you said hello. I knew it was in and out. Da, 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 Rebecca da, da. Black? No, damn it. You guys are killing Don't me. have the slightest clue who that is. Do you want to Shazam yeah. that? Just open up Shazam and start singing it. Maybe it'll get it. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa, okay. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you said Dua Lipa thing. and Cats with the same conviction. That's fascinating. No, Going to cut that cats. together. Cats. Cats make all my conviction. <laughs> Um, but the other thing that happens, I'm very excited to talk about in a couple months. Well, hopefully uh, we'll have you back on and you'll okay. be able to, to talk about it on the next one. I will say then then it would be an all Halloween scary music thing. Okay. Oh, I would oh, definitely. Wait, I got to stop talking about it. I'm going to get in trouble. I'm I would definitely do a uh, Halloween horror movie music. I'm not like a Halloween horror movie stuff. musicals? Andy. No, how just music in general. The themes, the 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 music that's noted from different horror movies. Yeah, uh, we've done a sure. Yeah, we've done horror specific. Yeah, two of them for Halloween. But sure, if you want in on, uh, but we'll definitely do the Broadway. It's it's Hocus Pocus too, isn't it? I wish. (laughs) Wish you got it. I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. (laughs) I gotta stop talking. I'm gonna literally. My manager's gonna be like. Get that taken off the internet. <laughs> well, we can edit it out. Not a problem. No, it it's comes fine. To that. It'll be um, fine. All right. Well, I'll have your Twitter. She's handle. remaking West Side Story again. <laughs> yeah. Starring Ansel Elgort and Army Hammer. And it's going to be amazing. Kevin Spacey nice. has a cameo. Trying to get all the canceled people. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. Keep going. Spacey. Joss Whedon is directing. Yes. J.K. <laughs> Rowling is doing gender. J.K. Rowling's writing the script. <laughs> Uh, what else we got? And Matt Damon is going to be in it because you know he just stopped using the word faggot four months ago. Oh, uh, remember when he said that to the press? Yep, I, I yeah. vaguely recall. I'm like, dude, do you think you're going to get a GLAAD award for that? Yeah, and he like wanted a cookie for doing it. And I'm like, and you're from Boston. That word is used like the comma in Boston. So calm I down. think that was I. Th- I think not that I'm defending Matt Damon because I mean I was only his best man, but I think that that was his point wasn't it that like it's used so frequently that his daughter was like dad you have to stop using that in everyday language or whatever and he's like really like an entitled straight white guy all right well at least he's (laughs) he's maturing i don't know how to you know uh discuss it but all right uh maybe we'll get yeah more stuff cut from this episode (laughs) no 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 no, no. it's all good it's all precious manager takes issue with that as well he's got notes um all right, well, I'll have your Twitter handles down in the uh, description below, so please follow them, two uh, fantastic people. We'd love to have you. We'll have you back on for Broadway shows into movies to narrow the scope and watch you guys crush on that. Can't wait to see what, what Andy pulls out of the hopper for that one just to fuck with you guys. It's going to be good stuff. <laughs> oh, there's that, 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 yeah, there's a lot. Like, you pull out something from, like, uh, on the town or something like that, and we're probably in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Um. All right, uh, Andy. Anything you want to uh, say before we get out here? I got stuff going on. Uh, Perfect. Can't really talk about uh, it. Yep. <laughs> you and me both, brother. You and me both. So much. There's so much going on. It's uh, it's crazy. All right. We'll follow Andy at sts underscore Andy M, and you can follow. I can't me say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is it for this week's settle the score. We'll see you guys next week with another new edition. Until then, adios. Bye, everybody.